Hi, it's me again, Jerry here. We'll continue our discussion with methods. To fully grasp the concept of methods, let us mimic the operations of a coffee bendo machine. From the given figure, consider the different parts of methods that are assigned to handle particular tasks. The vendo machine accepts two dollar bill or coin combinations. The price of coffee is one and a half dollars. Only one type of coffee is dispensed by the machine. If money is enough, dispense coffee. Hence, notify with the message money not enough. Issue change if money is more than its price. For the sake of discussion, dispense coffee and issue change will display message coffee is served. Your change is blank dollar <coughs> respectively instead of the actual coffee and, and coin change of course accept money handles the bill and coins slot notify will display message on its small screen money not enough if payment is short from copy price there are mechanisms that are not visible inside the bando machine we will consider main as the central control which handles the overall operations of the machine is money enough as a sensor which determine if payment is enough now let's create the program coffee vendor So we will have our main program method. Let us declare money variable with double as data type. We initialize it with zero and we assign a value for money whatever our accept money method returns. So you would see here we have a method here that will generate a value that will be assigned to money. Now let us create method accept money. As you could see here, accept money should return a value double because money is declared as double data type. Inside our accept money method, we will facilitate acceptance of input. So here we declare scanner class. We import the package. We prompt the user to enter money. We will have pay amount as the variable for the money entered. We declare pay amount here as double data type. Initialize it with zero. After that, we return the value to method main, whatever the amount inputted. So at this point, we have already value for money. Now we're going to test if the money entered is enough. Remember, the cost of the coffee is one and one and a half dollar. So, if we're going to test if is money enough, so we're going to test. So we will have a parameter here, money, because we're going to test if it is uh, enough. If it is enough, when this becomes true, we dispense coffee. Else. We notify with the message another parameter, money not enough. Now, let us create first a method, is money enough? Is money enough is a method with a Boolean data type. So here we define is money enough a method. My money variable is the parameter which is the replica of this, uh, this which is the replica of my money or money in the main method. So money will be passed on the variable my money. Then since money is the same as my money, we test now my money. 
if my money is greater than 1.5 we return true else we return false so this method is simply to test if it is greater than 150 greater than or equal to 150 now after testing if this becomes true you do this one copy if it is not enough if it is false you will notify the user that money not enough now let us assume that the money is true or enough we're going to do now the dispense copy so we simply here display the output how about if if it's not true if money is not enough so we will notify the user to display or to we will notify the user that money is not enough so here the method notify pass on the message money not enough which the method as you define it will simply display the message money not enough so here we are using a string data type so money not enough message will be passed on on the variable message which has a data type string and here we simply display the message <laughs> now we come to the part wherein we test if the money inserted is more than 150 if it is more than 150 we issue change so here we check if money is greater than 150 we simply display message your change is so we create another method that will issue the change whatever the change is and we passed on a parameter money whatever the money is and we concatenate it with the message dollar so we need to create now a new method issue change so this time we are expecting a value so the data type of issue change would be double so whatever the the money passed would be absorbed by the parameter payment which has also a double data type so let us create a change data type here which is the result of whatever the difference between payment less one and a half dollars which is later on returned by the method and then we're done now let us save the program and check if it is running correctly so on this scenario we issue an exact amount coffee is served how about if there would be change so let's rerun the program let us say we enter two dollars so we have coffee served your change is 0.5 dollars what if our money is not enough so let us say we just insert one dollar money not enough hi this is jerry thank you for watching this video if you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial please click the link below do visit us on our facebook and twitter account don't forget to hit the like buttons.